So what the lawyer is able to do is uh, find out what activities you've done. So when you decide to separate from baby dad, you know, if you're taking them to dance, you want to write that down. If you're taking them to get tutored, you want to write that down, the date and the time, when you left, when you came back. You're keeping a journal. And this journal is evidence. Um, the fact of the matter that he said that he was going to come pick the baby up, didn't come pick the baby up. Times that he said that he was going to uh, buy them uh, 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 outfits or, or they needed, just say, for instance, when we were in the real world, they needed uniforms. He failed to do that. They'll keep that in. Uh, thank you, Carmen. Give us a call at 313-778-7600. Thanks, Carmen. I love her. And here's the situation. The reason why we need to be able to do, you get an opportunity to get free legal advice. So many times I have people calling who want to go through a divorce who basically can't afford it. And they want to know, what is it that I should do? Now, let me explain this. The more work you do by keeping a, a, a journal of, you know, all of these events, that makes it easier for your lawyer to, number one, win and not to have to do so much investigation on their end. It makes the job so much easier. And these are things that you need to start doing. And as I said before, make you a journal. Time, date, event. Uh, you need to write down uh, on January 6th, uh, took the girls to dance, location uh, on Woodward, you know, if it was an ideal world, Time spent four hours every day. You break that down. And what that does is it shows the judge that you are the primary caregiver. Now, here's another one. The drug and alcohol abuse. If your babe dad, just say, for instance, like to smoke weed or drink, and you're able to uh, indicate, you know, that you know that they get smoking weed, they can always request a drug test. If they get a drug test, then they can be able to see whether or not this person is under the influence. So if you uh, say, listen, I've been around him. You know, when he comes to pick up the girls, he smells like weed. You know what I'm saying? Which you sh Now, this is a little different because marijuana is now legal. But if you're saying, well, when he comes to pick the kids up, I'm smelling, he smells